Hello and welcome back to City Skylights. Today we are looking into the three main features or most important features or most used features from Traffic Manager President Edition. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Um, so if you don't know why you can get it, uh, Traffic Manager President Edition is a uh, a mod that's on Steam Workshop and I have the link in the description below. So take a look at that, install the mod, enable it and when you get the game you have this option over here. So this guy that you can drag and drop anywhere you want. When you click on it you have a few options in there and I'll cover the three most useful ones that I, in my opinion, they are the most useful ones. So lane arrows, junction restrictions, and priority signs. And let's start with priority signs. When you click on this, you can see this option over here and what you usually have. Like, let's, let's make a road junction in here. When you get a new road coming from there, what usually happens is that you get traffic lights, right? So if you look at this, you have the traffic lights and traffic will stop all the time in here. Like there are no cars coming from there, well, there is one now, <laughs> but uh, they will stop without uh, need, they need to stop. So that's where priority signs came in. So you select priority signs, click on the junction, you have this option here, and you can choose between priority, and as you do this, the traffic lights are gone, as you can see. Uh, you can use giveaway, and you can use stop sign. What I usually do, I do part signs on the main road and give way on the side road, like I've did in here before. So that means that everyone on the main road will keep going and everyone coming on the side road, accessing the main road, will have to give way. So if there, are, there is no cars in here, there is no traffic, the, uh, anyone waiting here can just get into the junction and keep going. Otherwise, they'll have to wait a little bit. Now, another good use for the part signs is for roundabouts. So if selected, you can see some uh, helpful options in here. And to enable that, you just press this question mark over here. So as it says, if you press Control Shift Click or Shift Control Click, you will highlight the whole roundabout. And if you left click on it, it will set up priority signs and um, lane chains in here you set up like no crossing and all that sort of stuff for you and you can as easy as that you can just set up your new roundabout so that's a pretty powerful option there just for you now looking back at our main road here that we started um, another powerful feature is actually the lane arrow so what that means is that as you can see you have two lanes here to go to the left side and one is going straight the other one is going straight plus turning left now in some areas where you have um, higher traffic this one is like pretty low traffic but if you have a lot more traffic what you might want to do is to actually so let's look at this right if you click on this segment so this one that's going into the junction you see that this side everything is going straight which is this side here and i can change that as you can see the arrows in there and this one is going straight and it's turning left i could just turn left here so everyone on the left side will have to turn left everyone on the middle lane would have to go straight and another way of doing this is basically pre pressing control click. So take a look at this one here and this one here. When I hold control and as you can see, separate turning lanes for entire junction. And if I click, then this one will turn just right turn. This one will be just left turn. That will make sure that you have a dedicated lane for each of the um, turns that you or decisions that you can make here at this junction. When you get larger lanes, you uh, get more out of it, but it makes it helpful when you have junctions like this to just make this across the whole junction 
this one I've done before, this one I've done before. So I tend to do that in every single junction with at least four lane roads or above. So if I have four or uh, six lanes, I will use that or even asymmetrical roads where you have like this one. So then you have one turning right and one turning left. But again, you can click on the segments and change where you want them to go or you can just control click and do it. So yeah, pretty helpful, pretty powerful feature just there for you. Now, the final option uh, that we are looking here is the not clear traffic, is the junction restrictions. So basically what it does, you select one of the junctions in the game, any junction, and you see all these options. So the two options that I uh, use the most here are the pedestrian crossing. So as you can see, I can remove that and pedestrians can cross in here. They will have to use just this one. This is really helpful for when you don't want pedestrians crossing at all on that junction or when you have too many crossings close to each other and you have you want to remove some of them. So that's pretty powerful as well. And as you can see, this pedestrian wants to cross. <laughs> so the other one is this option over here, which is um, just making sure that cars don't need to wait. I'll just remove this a little bit so I can explain. That means that if that's on, cars coming into the junction, they won't stop if there is, for example, someone uh, turning or someone crossing, they'll keep going and they will stop like very close to the pedestrian there and then keep going when they can do so. Or even when there is a car turning left or right here, that's what they do as well. So that makes traffic going a lot faster in busy junctions if you don't want them uh, stopping for the incoming traffic or for pedestrians or anything else that you might have going on there. And uh, you have also this option, which is uh, basically changing lanes or weaving traffic, which means that if they are on this um, lane here, on the right lane, they can cross the left one or if they are on the left one, they can cross to the middle one. In this case, they can do that anyway, because these are uh, all junctions. They can automatically choose their lanes unless you manually set that up. And this is more useful when you have junctions in the middle, nodes in the middle, or for example, in here. So, and here it's not even showing, as you can see because, well, they don't have that option. <laughs> but they can still do it. I think that's important to mention that uh, you can make them, yes, please do it, force them to change and choose this node to be one where they change lanes instead of going in the middle uh, for some, some reason. Or, for example, if I look at this, you have some middle lanes here. I could force them go straight in there and not change uh, lanes, but I can make them change lanes here at the junction. And finally, the U-turn. So U-turn is basically exactly what it means. Um, cars that come in here, they'll be able to U-turn over there without having to actually, for example, in this case, turning left and waiting for the junction to clear, they can do this straight from here. So there you go, the three main options that I believe here are very helpful and most powerful in Traffic Manager. So lane arrows, um, junction restrictions, and powered signs. And just as a bonus tip, um, this button here, it makes your game harder or easier. I usually playing in no despawning which means that if you have a big traffic in your city, the vanilla game or the way the game works is with this turn um, like this enabled. So that means that if they are stuck in the traffic for too long, the cars will just disappear. And with this turn off, that means that no cars will disappear. They'll have to complete their journey, which means that you have more cars on the street all the time and your traffic uh, areas will be even more congested. 
So there you go, a bonus tip for you. And I really hope you enjoy this quick episode on uh, the three most important features from Traffic Manager tra President Edition. And if you like this video, please consider leaving a like. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing so we you can see more videos like this and my Let's Play series on Series Skylines as well. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.